Hello and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Max I'm with the website pro.com and today I'm going to show you how to integrate your WordPress blog or content management system because they're not just blogs anymore with your uh, feed burner and so that's what we're going to do and that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, number one, if, if you have a WordPress content ma management system at the top of you, your URL, you just simply put in feed. And it's going to give you something that looks like this. You see, uh, some uh, browsers will uh, export XML so that you could see, um, you know, what it would possibly look like in a, uh, a reader. And this is exactly what it would look like. Now, <clears throat> the only uh, downfall or backside of this is you don't know how many people are subscribed you don't know who's reading what and or anything but but feed burner takes care of all that for you they keep track of your stats how many subscribe they even give you features where you can put a form in your site and put stuff like uh, enter your email uh, to subscribe so we're gonna talk about all that and how to get that done and we're gonna use my friend Jerry Kyle's website healthyoldgoat.com and if you would like to check out his site and live to a long healthy happy life feel free to do so and we'll get started right now okay so step number one <clears throat> we already know that WordPress has our feed already set up so the next step we want to do is we want to go to feed burner so just type in feed burner and then hit enter in any Google search engine and you want to look for this URL feedburner.google.com and then go ahead and click on that. Here you will have to sign in. So I'm going to pause the video and sign in. And now that I'm signed in, I come to a page that looks like this. And so this is my feed burner page uh, <clears throat> where we could claim our feeds now or burn a feed right this instant. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to our website, Healthy Old Goat, make sure that we have the proper URL forward slash feed and we're just going to grab this entire URL copy and we're going to paste it right in there okay now if you're a podcaster you want to click that but we're not podcasting this is just a regular feed we're going to click next and here we're going to give it the feed a title and healthy old goat we're satisfied with that and the feed address is healthy old goat just one long word and we're satisfied with that so we're gonna go ahead and click next now we get a congratulations your feed burner is now live wanna dress it up a little and this URL right here that is the address to our feed burner so I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard because I'm gonna need it later so uh, we see here that FeedBurner has applied the following services browser friendly improves your uh, feeds performance in most web browsers and then we have stats so it's gonna track our stats for us and we're gonna go ahead and click the next button and we want to track click-throughs uh, item enclosure downloads we don't worry about that because it's for podcast and you can click on I want more uh, feed stats can also track individual uh, item views and also it will show you how many uh, people your feed is reaching so we want that we'll go ahead and click next and we see that we have successfully updated the feed on healthy old goat okay so the next thing we do is we're gonna go install this uh, feed burner plugin on our healthy old goat so I'm going to just log into our uh, WordPress login.php and I am going to pause the video and log into my WordPress dashboard now that I'm logged into my WordPress dashboard I'm going to go down here to plugins and select add new and I'm going to paste in here feed burner feed smith extended so we want that plugin so we're going to go ahead and search it and we're going to click install now yes we're ready to install the plugin and then we want to activate it and then we're going to come down here to settings and jump down here where it says feed burner feedsmith extended okay 
Now right here where it says main feed, remember that uh, URL that I told you to copy somewhere? Well just in case uh, you didn't put, put it anywhere, if you go up here to ed edit feed details, you can see that this is your feed burner right here. This is the address. Feeds feedburner.com and then healthy old goat at the end of it. So we'll take this URL and we'll paste it where it says main feed here. And we know that it's healthy old goat. Let's see if this is the right one. Healthy old goat. And that's the name of our feed. And just to check it, just to make sure, we're going to go ahead and check it once. We'll go ahead and paste, copy and paste, and we see that that's the feed. And what we'll do is scroll down here to the bottom and select Save. Okay. Okay. Now let's go visit the site. And we'll have my control button down and click visit site. It brings up another tab for me. And what I want to do is I want to go up and put that same URL we put in earlier, feed. And I want to make sure that it red redirects to my feed burner. And let's see if it does that. And it does. So we see that feeds.feedburner.com, healthy old goat, and here's my feed. Okay. So now we have our uh, feed burner set up and we could go in and configure some things. And what we will do is we'll go to back to my feeds and we'll click on healthy old goat and we see that the feed is so new we're still playing with the bubble wrap little thing so but what we want to do is we want to go into optimize and we already see that uh, it's already browser friendly there's smart CAD for Smartcast for podcasting and iTunes. Now we want to click Smart Feed. There's a couple of things that I like to activate. I want my feed to reach the widest possible audience. Now Feed Flare, that's something that whenever people subscribe to your feed, they're going to have the option to share this feed with their friends. So what we want to do is we want to check all these. If you don't want to check them, that's fine. But we're going to check them all so that they have the option to share with any of these social network platforms and then we're going to click activate okay now you can take a look at these other ones if you like later but for the sake of time we're going to move on to the publicize tab and we're going to click on headline animator and what this does is this will give us a little box like this that we can put in our website or other places. So we're going to go ahead and click activate it. You can style it too if you want different colors, but we're just going to leave the default. I'm going to go ahead and click activate. And if we scroll to the bottom here, oh, let me see here. We want to add it to a WordPress. Uh, let's see, just other. Give me, just give me the code. And we'll go ahead and select next. And we'll see that we get a nice little code here. And we could grab this code, right click, copy, and we can put this in our blog. So we'll go back here to Healthy Old Goat, and I'll go to Appearance Widgets, and maybe we'll put it in the footer area one. So I'm going to grab this text HTML, and I'm going to paste it in there, my little code, and I'm going to click Save close it and I'm going to see how it looks in footer area one see if that's where we want it so let's go down and we can close this out now so let's go down to footer area one which will probably be clear at the bottom and we see that we have our uh, little uh, feed burner there uh, head, showing the headlines of our different uh, blog posts that we've had so that's a nice little feature to have it's called the headline anim animator the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Buzz Boost, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that this is going. So the description is, have a feed, will travel, Buzz Boost replenishes your uh, burned feeds content to go anywhere, HTML. Want to promote your blog on another site that you manage? Buzz Boost gives you a snippet of JavaScript you can paste in, in the web pages. So let's say that we had another web page that we were... Uh, working on that uh, that we blog on and we wanted to display the post from here we could do that as well and we could click activate that uh, to configure it we could show three posts on up to all of the posts if we want to and when people click on it it will open in a new window we'll display the feed title healthy old goat we can also display the favicon if we want one 
we see that there's one in there and author name that would be good and uh, display a link to the feed and let's go ahead and click activate and we see here that this little piece of JavaScript we can put in any other website that we want to so and you can always come back here and get the code but now one of the most important things is email subscriptions you want people to be able to subscribe by email and FeedBurner will deliver it to them so we're going to go ahead and click activate it and we're going to grab this form here okay the grab make sure you copy it all and click copy and we're going to go back to our website under widgets and you know what we should put this maybe right under search so I'm going to grab another text in the main sidebar and I'm going to paste it in there and click save and we'll go back to our website healthyoldgoat.com and we'll refresh the page to make sure that our subscription is in there for people to subscribe and yes it is and I'll go ahead and subscribe to Jerry's feed max at a1websitepro.com and this is what will happen I'll click subscribe and then I'll have to verify that I want to uh, I can't type and talk at the same time to complete my subscription request I have a capture code and so they'll send me an email and then I'll have to confirm that and you'll probably hear my phone go whistle here in a minute okay so let's go back to the settings there so we got that uh, ready to roll um, ping shot now what happens is we could sometimes servers have you know they they'll get to your uh, feed in their own due time uh, if you want them to uh, get there a little sooner you will click activate on this and whenever you make a post now and it goes to your feed burner it will ping them other search engines to give them a ping shot here if you want to know your feed count how many subscribers are there you can activate this um, uh, socialize if you want to connect your Twitter accounts or your other accounts you can go ahead and select this and every time you post it will be added to your social network you can go ahead and uh, read the rest of these yourself uh, they're pretty much self-explanatory if you have any uh, trouble with your feed you can always select trouble shoot ties and uh, it, they will assist you in uh, debugging your feed troubles Okay, this is Max with A1 Website Pro. I hope this has been a uh, uh, informative tutorial for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me at my website, a1websitepro.com. Be glad to help you out. Thanks and have a good day.